What is middenside? You might have heard of or read discussions on middenside technique. You might even have tried some tricks or even have plugins that are dedicated to mid and side processing. Some people see stereo image and middenside technique almost as the same thing. I don't think they are, and more importantly, nor should you. If you have a track with distorted guitars or a synth patch that is panned hard left and hard right, you might want to make a track sound bigger by using plugins to widen the stereo image. Every time the guitars or synths enter the song, it gives the impression of the music becoming wider. For me, and you, this is working with and treating the stereo image of a mix. I see middle and side as a different way of working when treating stereo image. Middle and side is the process of separating the mono signal from the stereo signal or side signal. This means that with mid and side processing, you can treat both the mono and side signals of your mix, but in different ways. For example, and sticking with our previous idea, I may want to make the guitars or synths wider, but equally may want to give those side sounds more presence and air with EQ. I might also want to make the kick punch a bit more by adding a bump at, let's say, 120 hertz, but equally don't want to add 120 hertz to the side signal where the guitars are. Mid and side technique gives you the control to affect and process the side signal without touching the mid, or the mid signal without touching the sides. As mentioned, guitars, synths, or anything with a strong wide stereo image will always benefit from stereo enhancement. Symbols from a live drum kit can often sound better when spread across the stereo field because it gives a sense of a wider space. Now that's not to say you should always spread out the symbols. Again, it comes back to that balance of art and science. What does your music need? I've no idea. Backing vocals often respond well to stereo enhancement, commonly panned left and right, and may enter in just the chorus to make it sound bigger and wider. But by spreading them wider in the mix, especially with mid and side technique, they can easily be separated from the vocal, the lead vocal. So let's look at mid and side using Logic's channel EQ. For demonstration, I'm going to use Glide Long from Logic's loop library as featured in section two, lesson six on EP and AB mastering templates. Check out the section if you've not already seen it. I've chosen this track because it has great side elements that could do with being enhanced. But before we get to that point though, let's find out where we select the mid and side options in the channel EQ. I'm going to demonstrate with the channel EQ, but you'll find the linear phase works in exactly the same way. I don't need to go through the EQ again as we've covered equalization in section four, so I'll head straight to the bottom left of the window where you'll find the processing drop down menu. By default, the EQ is set to process the full stereo signal, but you can choose to EQ the left only, the right only, middle only, or only the side signals of your mix. This feature makes Logic's Channel EQ a very powerful plugin for processing frequency across the stereo field. So what is the effect and how does it sound? Well, this track actually has a strong side signal, but it's lost by a strong mid signal. So for the purpose of demonstration, let's reverse this and make the sides more dominant than the mids. Obviously, you'd never normally do this, but what the hell. Once processed, the tracked side acoustic guitars will appear much louder and brighter in the mix. First off, I'm going to select side only from the drop down processing menu and we're going to process the entire side frequency spectrum by simply increasing the gain of the EQ. By increasing the entire frequency spectrum, you're effectively just turning up the sides because all frequency bands are increased equally, the music naturally feels wider. Check it out.
As you can hear, the effect is very noticeable and the result is that the guitars appear brighter and the tracks a little wider. This is actually a better way of working to say using the spreader or stereo spread because you're not actually pushing any signals out to the left and right speakers. You're simply adjusting the balance between the mid and side signals. Because the level of the side signal is boosted, the music feels wider, but the advantage of course is no phasing occurs because nothing's being modulated. This time, let's reduce the side signal and see what happens. Okay, so it's pretty obvious the side signal almost completely disappears, especially noticeable when A beat. So if we can change the side balance, what about the mid? Let's select the mid only and adjust the gain and see what happens. Well, first off, let's turn the gain right down. You'll notice the mid information completely disappears and we're left with the side signal. This could be an alternative way to widen a track. Instead of adding gain to the side signal, you could attenuate the mid signal by a small amount, which would ultimately achieve the same goal, but you wouldn't add any volume to the music. It's an option. Now let's turn the gain slider up taking it past zero. The kick, snare and electric slide guitar will stand out more and the side signal will be reduced. This is great if you want to bring out the mid signal when mastering. By loading an EQ, selecting mid only and turning up the gain half a dB or so will increase the strength of your mid signal. So before we move on to looking at some stereo widening and mid side techniques, I want to say that what we've just discussed is a new way for you to view and rebalance your mixes when mastering. By loading two EQs in series, one set to mono, and the second set to side, you can effectively rework the relationship between your mid and side signals. Furthermore, why not add automation to one of the plugins making some musical sections wider than others? A chorus, perhaps. As we'll discover next, mid and side technique is extremely powerful and will be something you'll use time and again. Let's go check out some top tips and stereo mastering techniques.